Dark matter and dark energy explained simply. There's something extraordinary that we have discovered about our universe. The ordinary matter and energy that we experience in everyday life makes up less than 5% of what is out there. Dark matter makes up about 27% of the known universe, and dark energy makes up the other 68%. We know very little about dark matter and dark energy, hence the word dark being used to describe both. In this video, I'm going to present a rundown of what we do know so far. Dark matter. Dark matter is a form of matter that does not interact with light, and so it is invisible to us. We know it's there because calculations have shown that without its gravitational pull, galaxies and other large structures in the universe would not have been able to form. Dark matter is also required to explain the motion of galaxies. It explains why stars and gas clouds on the outskirts of a galaxy rotate as fast as they do. Einstein described a space-time continuum as the fabric of the cosmos. Space-time incorporates the three dimensions of space, up and down, left and right, and back and forth, and the fourth dimension of time. Einstein thought of space-time as malleable. Mass and energy can warp space-time and this gives rise to the phenomena of gravity. Dark matter does have mass and therefore does produce gravity. Where there are large clumps of it, dark matter distorts the light coming from galaxies behind it. This distortion effect is called gravitational lensing. We have been on the hunt for dark matter for decades, and the general consensus among cosmologists is that it may be made up of an exotic subatomic particle that we have yet to detect. Dark energy. In 1929, astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered the expanding universe. The further away an object is from the Earth, the redder it appears as the wavelength of its light coming toward us is stretched. The electromagnetic spectrum is the entire range of light that exists, from radio waves to gamma rays. Visible light is the electromagnetic radiation within the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be perceived by the human eye. Longer wavelengths correspond to a shift toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum. Hubble noticed that the further away a galaxy was, the more redshifted it became, and after a detailed analysis of different redshifts, he concluded that galaxies were flying away from each other and the universe was growing in size. Up until the late 90s, scientists thought that this expansion of the universe would either slow down or even contract owing to the effects of gravity from matter. However, in 1998, observational evidence confirmed that the expansion of the universe was actually accelerating. What was causing this acceleration was dubbed dark energy. Little to nothing is known about this dark energy, but it can be thought of as a property of space. As space is expanding and more space is appearing to fill up the extra space, the dark energy intrinsic to space is pushing galaxies further apart. And that concludes my video on dark matter and dark energy. This is obviously a very high level overview of both topics, and this video is meant to be used as a springboard for further study. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to London City Girl for more educational and interesting videos from me.